Listen, you are not one of those who will fight. Rush now, 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 and subscribe.
Have you met with the big one? No. He's searching for the Oliver at school. A any idea why he's looking for me? No, he didn't mention the reason. But I have a phone. Didn't it occur to him to call me? Or the people he sent in search of me to call me? Is it not a common sense? Well, common sense is common, but we we'll know when it really matters. But please go and see him. Very important. All right, I will. I will. See now. See you. How was the exam now? Yo, it was good, though it was kind of hurty. Okay now. All right. John Jano! No bombs, man! I will make this cool part. Excuse me, my friend, what's the meaning of that? Are we together, guys? Yes, we are. We're very close to our destination, okay? The camp is not far from here. We have about two kilometers to walk. So brace yourself up. Just brace up. We're almost there. Alright, we'll go this way. Let go.
All right, guys. Well done. Small, get us something to drink, okay? Open the cans and get something. Let's refresh ourselves. Go. So, how did it go? Good, good. Like I told you, okay. my men are already on ambush. Mm. On the set forest you told me about. Mm. We are waiting for the arrival. That's what I'm talking about. But well, listen, eh? you know, that man, my director, yeah. he's a very dangerous man. He's not easy to outshine. Do you understand? Yeah. So, leave no choices. Please, make no mistakes. I repeat, make no mistakes. Do you understand? Yeah. What well, you did in the negotiation, you understand? Yeah. So if anything comes up, I'll still update you. So please, make no mistakes. Trust me, please. Trust me, please. There is something that you want to make with that go on. Okay. What is your interest in this? What did you say? What is your interest in this episode? Hmm? Good to be Mama, this is not a question of sitting down. This is competition. Let's try this one. 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 Let's try on a funny avec. Uh, guys, we are, we are set to go now, okay? We are marching to a Johnny Bridey. We are marching to a Johnny Bridey. We are marching. We are marching. We are marching to a Johnny Bridey. Say with me. We are marching. What is it? What are you doing? What does it look like? I want to sit with you. For what? There's space at the back. Winners don't sit at the back. Guys, how can I lead from the back? It's not possible. Come, I want to ask you something. What is really pissing you off about me? Everything. You are an idiot. You are so pompous. Your insolence. You, 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 I don't know what to call you. You are just a proud person. What is it? Me insolence. Me pompous. Me everything. Me self-centered. You are just a generous hater. Now, I don't think you hate me. You don't like me that much. I wouldn't blame you. I blame me. Yes, I blame me. But all I want us to do right now is that we all should agree to go together, work together, come back victorious. Have we agreed on that? Of course. 
Agreed. You have to, you have to, you have to show me by giving me a powerful kiss. So you see I why I said you're, you're a mad person? You're just an idiot. What's the meaning of that? Please get into the car. Let's get out of here. Just a nightmare, baby. Nonsense. Ah, uh, let's go. Careful, please, okay? Alright, bro. Yeah. Lucy. Yeah, yeah. I invest it to you. So, Jane, do you pray often or is it just um, a ritual you observe when you're traveling? <laughs> it's not a ritual. And yes, I pray often. Yeah, yeah. This the scripture says pray without season. So I pray every morning, afternoon, evening. I see. That's a lot of commitment. It is, but you get used to it. Pray. Like you mean pray every morning and every night. I mean, that sounds like a ritual to me, man. What? John, like I was saying. John! You will grow into it. You know, a time comes when. You feel like you're missing something until you get on your knees to pray. Please, you know, it's so addictive. Oh you don't always feel normal until you get your daily fix. Wow. What? Yes. Girl, I don't get it yet. Does it mean you pray twice, twice, every blessed day? As for me, believe me, I won't know what to tell you because I'm not used to that. Uh, and yet you can talk to your friends on money tonight. Of course. They are my friend because I can feel them. I can always have something to tell my friends. Not spending an hour to hours with God. That's what I don't know what to say. Hold it. And God is not real. Don't misquote me. That is not what I'm trying to say. Well, you know now. I can actually do that with God. What? That's not what I'm saying. I know you can actually do that with God. But not like spending like an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. Who will you be telling God now? A lot. Wait, let me explain to you. You can actually get a seat and usher God to sit and then you talk with him. I do that. Yes. You know, God is even more real than we can ever imagine. And by real, I mean in a more tangible sense. Okay. God is more closer to us than even our friends. Wake up and listen. God is even more tangible, more closer to us than even yeah, than even our friends. And if you are right by Him, you can feel Him around you. You can feel Him within you. And at that point, you can be able to express your heart. You can express your deepest secrets, your fears to Him. Hold on. And you know the most important part. You are sure you are talking to someone who would not judge you. You are talking to somebody who cares for you more than you even care for your own self. More than those your friends. That's it. I'm still saying the same thing. But what I'm trying to let you to understand here is that spending an hour, two hours, three hours with God. Let me, let me tell you my prayer life. So if I wake up in the morning, I'll be like, God, thank you for a beautiful day you're giving to me. Thank you. Bless my going out and my going out. That's all. Lucy, I wish you are sitting close to me. I want to lie down on your legs. I'm feeling sleepy. Lover boy, are you not studying? Last minute studying is not my style. You just say that last minute studying is not your style. What day is your style? I don't study a couple of days before exam. I study weeks. I play, I do anything that makes me happy. It does for me what hibernation does for school. It refreshes my mind, makes me look sound and go. Excuse me? Hibernation? 
dulls the mind. It can't do for you what it does for squares. Oh no! Bravo! 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 Someone is interested in our conversation. Lucy! Okay, okay, let's talk about vacation. Lucy, what is vacation all about? Does it dull the, the, the mind or re energizes it? You tell us. Really? I think so too, but it's something of later on. Okay. Alright, so it's safe to say that vacation is for human while uh, hibernation is for school. Eh? Lucy, am I right? <laughs> no response. What is, what is it? What is it? I just had a bad dream. You saw your grandmother. I don't understand. Like, I, I, you just said the dreamer. Oh, come on, guy. I'm pulling your legs. <laughs> Driver, driver, please, I'm pressed. I want to ease myself. Even me, driver. Driver, please stop now. Let's driver. ease ourselves. Driver, are you pressed? Yes. yes. No, pressed. Driver, stop the bus. Driver, stop it. Stop. To do it here. Yeah? Oh, Yara. 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 Look at Natanya. Michael! Why are you dressed like that? Man, dress well, dress well, I don't like it. Wow, how does it feel to live in the village? It feels great. Out. Oh, okay, out. Okay. Okay. The, the breeze, the tranquility of the environment, um, the food, everything. So nice.
Get money, eh? eh? I will kidnap all of you now. I will play with you. I will play with you, eh? Now get back for me, eh? Eh? Now I go back for me. I go back for you. Yeah, you stand up. I go back for you. Stand no up. Stand up, you. Shut up, come down. Please don't kill me. Down. Eh, brother? This way. Please don't kill me. This way. Eh? Please don't kill me. Jesus. I, 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 I have blabber. I have 20,000 here I'm at the back of my pocket. Take them and leave me, please. I leave my people too. I am not Pharaoh. Jesus. And even if I'm Pharaoh, you certainly don't look like Moses to me. Hello, everybody. My name is Wolf. W-O-L-F. I'd like to introduce my guys to you. They're my dogs. They're not to worry. They're not gonna bite you. I'd like to gladly inform you that you have been kidnapped. You've been brought to the middle of nowhere. You all are going to stay here with us until the ransom is paid. And then we'll let you go. Don't worry about the guns. We only use it to hunt, hunt wild animals. You know, we're in the middle of the jungle. We need to eat. So we use it to hunt. We use it to kill wild animals. 
and you can also use it to kill you. That is if you run wild like an animal. All right. Any question? Yes. Yes. Let me. I have something to say to Black. Black, you are the next in command. Raise that gun. Raise it on his head and shoot him. Kill him. You will be in charge. You know you want to do it. Not this at all. Last he said. Kill him. You know. Leave them alone. I don't want any of you to touch them. These are our guests. They need to be treated with some respect. Okay? Have I made myself clear? Oh, so what do you do now? 
kept me safe at cinema and the same thing with me. So what will happen is that we go to cinema this weekend. Yes! Good evening. Next, welcome to the CSTV News Update. Student of Sam Damien University that were traveling for the regional school competition have not met the police and other CSTV agencies. Mommy! Daddy! Daddy. Stay tuned for more updates. People may need to see this. What?! Jesus Christ! My students! Oh. Nico! Did you get the news? It's not so international television. I swear that. You don't say no one for still before. Okay? Okay? As, as he's back in a guy, just kill him. With phone? Yes. You need prayers. It's very easy to kill him. As he's back in me now. Oh, director, you, you, you sent for me. Yes. I just got information from the national television that my children have been kidnapped. What? That is. The student that went for the annual university regional competition has been kidnapped. So you mean the news of the students kidnapped? Are your students? Seven of my best engineering students kidnapped. My mind can't comprehend this. Um, director, just calm down. I want you to calm down and think. Do you have any problem with anyone? Far from it. Far from it. Even if I have issue with anybody, would that be tantamount to them kidnapping my students? They should have come for me. They should have come for me. So just relax, okay? Just calm down. You see, this is an issue of kidnap. It has to do with underground investigation. It's my job. It's our job. I will handle it. You are not smiling anymore. No more jokes. I'm just processing. Mm, just processing. Ah, food is ready. You guys should come and eat. Ah. Can we say no? Just joking, ma. Right? Yes. Can I call you Mayo or Mama? You can. My sister used to call me that. She must be a lovely sister. It's my pleasure in meeting you. Pleasure. Bravo. That was a brilliant one. Making a friend out from the enemy, right? It's too early to call her that. You definitely got some skills up your sleeve. Yeah. More of that, man. And trust me, we stand a chance. What are you two even talking about? Escape, of course. Escape. Shut your mouth. Keep quiet. Be careful. Chooks. Be very careful. Watch your tongue.
Let's go eat. Excuse me? Eat? Eat is eat. Let's go eat. Is it wise to eat their food? Oh, come on, Lucy. There's nothing wrong with that. You see, these guys, they, they, they got a million and one ways of killing us. Not poisoning our food. So let's just go and eat. Are you guys ready to eat now? Are we going to eat with our Michael? Oh, Pampas boy. Yeah, you went to pee. You guys can go and wait for him. Eh? See, we eat, we thank them, we come back to the tent. Okay? We, we thank them? Yes, we thank them. Shh! At least they have the decency of giving us food. It could have been worse if they're not doing that. That is the spirit. We should appreciate. Let's be grateful. It could have been worse. Don't be selfish. Are you listening to me? You see, that's bullshit. Be you double L shit. What is food without freedom? Did I beg for food? What is your problem? What's your problem? Hey guys. Come on, what are you waiting for? Go to the dining. We prepared something nice for you. Dining? Yeah, come on. Dining, let's go. Thank you, sir. Hi, now. Please serve them. Ah, okay. Good day, sir. Thank please, you very much. Please sit down. Don't need your seat. Why? Why have you been dodging my invitation? What appointment I fixed with you? You turn bow down. Why? Look, Mr. Ma, my son, Michael Krodudu, is one of your students. For some days now, I can't reach him. Every means of communication I've proved about it. And right the information reaching me is telling me that some of the students was kidnapped. Your son's name is? Michael Krodudu. Yeah, he is one of my students. But for him to be kidnapped, that I don't know, sir. You need to know. But I can get him. I can see him. I can reach him on phone. Look, let me tell you. You have to be very serious. Because I need my son. And if I can't get him, surely trust me that I will do to you and the entire school. I will mercilessly deal with you people. Rightly, I told you, that is my start. Make sure in no distant time, I get my son. You have me well. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you, man. Next time you get into me for this guy. Okay. I'm not supposed to have him. How are you all doing, guys? We are doing good. Hope you enjoy yourselves. Yeah. All right. It's okay. We thank you for your hospitality. We really needed the food. Come on, don't mention. You guys are our responsibilities. We brought you here. So, it's our duty to take care of you. I want you guys to be strong for as long as you stay here. Okay? 
Okay. Because very soon we're going to be sending a message to your people. Let them see that we're taking good care of you guys. All right? Right, right. Of course. Don't worry. Hey, listen. I don't want you all to misunderstand this whole thing. Because I see the expression on your faces. The sad one. Matter of fact, I got nothing personal with any of you. Okay? I don't hate anyone here. Just doing my business. Just doing my job. Okay? Come on, man. A man's got to do what he's got to do to survive. Right? Hey, hey. What was that? Uh, uh, please, uh, forgive our insensitivity. Perhaps the, the, the guests should go back in, if you permit me. Well, um, of course, if they want to go back, it's fine. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, we can all... Yes, we can all... Uh, yes, yes, yes. You guys would love to hang out with you some more. If you don't mind. Well, it's okay. It's good if you guys want to hang out. We can hang out. Black is going to stay here with you. We're going to get you guys, you know. We're going to get more drinks with you guys, alright? Mayo. Get them drinks. See you later. This one you guys are frowning, what's the matter? Sensitivity. What does he think he is? What is he even doing? What is he doing? He's just giving the animal so much power, making us appear weak and helpless. What does he think he is? Nonsense. Why is he complaining? What, what is, is your problem? It? What is it? What is what? How about you? You're complaining of another person. How about you? How about me? Ah, I will show that beast. I will show the animal, the idiot, that we are not weak and that we are not helpless. He is not totally in charge. In a sense, sensitivity. He knows where we are and how to get out. I think he's pretty much in charge. We need to do something about this. I'm tired. Me, I'm tired, though. Hey, hey, you. Just shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Mm -hmm. Me, I love the fact I'm here. I love the fact I'm sleeping with this mock stand outside. I love it. Everybody's complaining, complaining. Let's look for a way out. Let's look for a solution. No, rather than complaining here. He's in charge. Hello? Yeah. Am I on to San Damien University, Office of the Vice Chancellor? Okay. I want to have a word with the Vice Chancellor. Tell him it's an emergency. Okay, I'm hanging on. Mr. Vice Chancellor, it may interest you to know that the, the students you're looking for are in my custody. And for you to get them back alive, you must pay a ransom of 200 million. I repeat, 200 million naira. The police must not hear about this. Neither should any security agency know about this. 200 million is the money. I will tell you the location where the money will be brought cash. I repeat, the police should not be involved. For you to get them back alive, the police should not be involved. So, uh, how does it go, uh, this business? Because you all know how it goes. You all know how it goes. 
You are not novice to the kidnapping thing. I'm sure if you haven't been kidnapped before, I'm sure you must have heard people who have been kidnapped. You must have heard their stories. But anyway, just in case you don't know, this is how it goes. First of all, we made a kidnap, which we've already done. That's why you're here. And then, <clears throat> and then we are going to be sending out a ransom note demanding for what we want, after which negotiation is going to set in. And once the negotiation is done, we get our money. You guys go home. Simple. But, but, but you haven't got the contact of our law for us, so how do, how do you contact them? Don't worry about that. We don't need to contact your loved ones. We don't need them here. We're dealing with your school. The school management. Yeah. So, they're yeah, better off. Because if we contact your loved ones, they may not pay. You know why? No. Because that loved one that you think loves you so much may love his or her 5 million or 10 million naira more than they love you. They may not be willing to pay and that will make us do our words. That will make us keep our words, taking action, which means killing you guys. But we don't want to do that. So we leave your loved ones out of it. We go for school authority. In this business, we actually deal with personalities like the government, Big shots, like your school, people who we know can pay. Although sometimes the government, they don't always want to pay. They bring up this bullshit about we don't negotiate with terrorists or kidnappers and all that stuff. But hey, we have our ways around it. We know how to make them pay, and they always pay. So. That's it. Do this a lot? Of course. Been doing it for years. Been doing it. Been doing it for years until the government became so strict on kidnapping. Wow. It's it's really a bad time to to be in the kidnapping business, you know? Of course it's a bad time, I know. But we gotta do what we gotta do. It's all about the money. We gotta take the risk. So, how much are you asking from the school for our ransom? We're doing so much work here, so we ask for so much money. Have you established a, a contact with our school management? No, we don't need to establish contact with your school authority yet. We wanna keep them in the heat. Let them sweat, you know? Let the tension rise. Matter of fact, we're not going to force them. They'll be the one begging us for communication. Because by the time there's so much pressure from the press, from the media houses, the social networks, the bloggers, carrying all the news about, the pressure is going to make them beg us for communication. And then whatever we tell them, they'll pay to set you guys free. So don't worry about that. How long does this take? Well, maybe days, weeks, or even months. Months? Of course, months. Hey, relax, okay? You guys are very important to your school authority. So, they're going to do something quick. Because already, it's in the news. It's everywhere in the news. I saw your VC yesterday on TV. They were talking about what they're going to do to get you guys released. Some of your lecturers were being interviewed too. I saw it all over the news. It's everywhere. So don't worry. They're going to do something soon to get you guys out of here. But, but how did you know? You, you said there is no reception here. Well, I lied to you guys. Hey! 
because behind you is a dish. So you just know. The man said, once they receive the money, they let us go. And you're going to take his word for that? You're going to believe that because he's some kind of a saint? Oh, come on. But they've been good to us. Wait. I think you've been admiring this guy. Yes, it's written all over your face. You like this guy. <laughs> are, are, are you kidding me? What do you mean by that? Like, admire my fellow guy? Like, do I, like, do I look gay to you? You never can tell. You never can tell. For instance, look at John. Well dressed. Look at me, well dressed. You, why are you exposing your body? Like, what's your damn business? Chooks. You're just on a wire. Ah, what's that? Listen. If we try to do something rash, like, let's say, try to escape. There's nothing rash in that. These people are just waiting for the money, and trust me, once this money is paid, they... They let us go. Oh, come on, grow up, boy. I wonder how you reason at times. They fed us, give us good hospitality just to capture our mind. Trust me, once that ransom is being paid, they will just kill us. Grow up! I don't even know if you're putting on a boxer or a pampas. Grow up! Chicks. Chicks. You're just being paranoid. See, this is just a job for these guys. It's just a job until it stops being just a job. What do you mean? I, what are you saying? We have an enemy. A common enemy. But that enemy is not in this room. I don't see the reason we, we fight ourselves. Quarry ourselves. If we have differences, we keep it aside. Listen. Listen very, very attentively. If we are to live here alive, we need to stick together as one. Did Prof not tell us that? Yeah, he did. Those are them just on you and John. God forbid. Listen to me. Wolf and his gang members can never be my friend. A man that threatens people with gun? A man that steals people's freedom with gun? Even in my dream world, I decline. He can never be my friend. Listen to me. We must buy our time. And that time you're talking about is a huge luxury we cannot afford right now. I'm very sure that the news about our disappearance has gone viral. And trust me, they're going to pay the money. And once that is done, trust me, these people are going to slaughter us. They are going to kill us because I am sure there is something more to read. It is not about the ransom. There is something to read. Now I know that the beast that parade itself in this forest has entered you to die. You are talking about death. I'll kill you. Do I to die? Jokes, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Jokes, I'll kill you. John, how dare you talk to me like that? How dare you? Jokes, are you deaf? Jokes, can you just sip that little goat that you call Matt? Can you sip it for me? Zip it! You would do nothing. Lucy, Lucy, do you know if I turn like this now, I'll you? I said, stop it! You will do nothing! Should I kill him? Because you did you me. know I can take your life myself? Oh, shit. They gave you to me, I'll kill you, you do now. Do nothing. Trust me, I'll do nothing. Hold me, I'll kill you. Yes! I will call it to come and kill us. What do of this nonsense? He's late. Let's leave it. I will call it to come and kill us. I said it's okay. It's soulless. What is soulless? What are you talking about? Why don't you go out there and be doing this? Just go out there and challenge him. It's okay. You are here challenging with your children. John, this is okay. Just stop. Look at you. What's wrong with you guys? You have insulted me. Oh no. Are you the only leader here? I'm also a leader. You're a leader? You know I love you so much. Whatever you tell me, I listen to you. Okay? Wolf will kill you. Wolf will kill you. Wolf will kill you. Mr. Vice Chancellor, I'm calling you in respect of the said ransom and the location where you were supposed to drop the ransom. Let me inform you as you are coming with the ransom, you must come alone. If you fail to come alone, you want to play funny by involving the security agency. 
the police or whoever you want to come with. I will tell you, you will not walk out of this territory alive. You must come alone with the said ransom if you want your students alive. Failure to do so, I promise you, in the next 72 hours, if we do not have the ransom, we consider all of your students dead. I mean, consider them dead. 200 million or nothing. Were you even asleep? How could I? A man whose life is at the point of death. What does he need a sleep for? What do you want? I came to apologize on what happened earlier. I was out of line. For real? I'm sorry the way I spoke to you wrongly. I promise it will never happen again. But you stop telling us that we will be killed after the ransom is being paid to these kidnappers. But that is the fact. Trust me, these guys are not going to let us out from this place alive. Listen to me, I know from the start. Kidnappers, that their faces are not closed, Letting you and I to know where we are kept. <laughs> Believe me, you, brother. We are not going back alive. So you know that? I saw that. You looked so freaked out. You looked so freaked out. Point of correction, I was actually freaked out. Listen, you don't need to scare the girls. These girls are banking on us. They are relying on us. They believe we make way for them. Listen, we don't have to scare them. Um, John, I didn't come here to babysit anybody. Right now, I'm thinking more about myself. Listen, Chooks. Our living here alive depends on our collective efforts. We die as a team, individually. Look at my two hands. 50, 50, make your choice. Collective or dying as a team? Which one do you choose? When you see which one do you choose? 
more. It's going colder. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Well, greeting. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I hope you guys slept well. Yes, sir. Yes, we did. You all right? I didn't see you all through the night. Yeah, I went hunting. So I like to hunt. I like to help you. Okay. All by yourself. Yeah. You know, there are a lot of bushmeat around. I actually killed about two grass cutters. For us? Yeah. Okay, so... So you're gonna have something to eat. Maya is preparing it. For you guys. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Uh, sir, can we go now? Yeah, sure. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. John? Huh? Can you shoot a gun? No. Are you sure? Yes. All right, maybe after breakfast then we can go do some shooting practice. No problem. Alpha Bravo TV, enjoy various genres of entertainment programming from the comfort of your home through our satellite delivered channels in your favorite languages French, English, Swahili, Sri, Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, and so on. Alpha Bravo Dubbing Services. With the largest number of dubbing studios in Africa, we can help you dub your videos to major languages in Africa Swahili, English, French, Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo. Wolof, Zulu, and so on. Alpha Revo YouTube, the largest YouTube partner in Africa, with over 500 channels of top Africa. If I were you, trust me, I'll pull the trigger straight into his head. That must be the reason you are not me. Not at all. Listen, guys, see, if any of us try to do something silly like try to escape. These guys are going to slay us, and me, I'm not ready to die. You get that? John, I think say you get mad. You just did a form James Bond sense. They talk say you love person. But look at him. Let me tell him. And they tell me say he loves me. Now, like, he wants to love me. See, I will, I will scrape your hair. I will scrape your hair. You see this little white hair you have on your head? I will scrape it off. start again. <laughs> I think our parents will be looking for us by now. You think? You think? Yeah. Of course. Of course they are looking for us. Yeah. We left for a competition. And we never got there. The organizers must have called both to know our whereabouts. Everybody, the entire school, everybody, our parents, they must be looking for us. They must. They are looking for us. My mom will be freaked out by now. She's not used to being without me. I'm sure she must have gone to the police. Not this cool. Same here. Yeah. And Jack seems to think they won't let us go. Why? I don't know. I thought it's just money they want. I'm tired of staying here. You know, Jack would be very happy where she is now. She used this opportunity to snatch me from me. Do you know you're a very stupid girl? I'm not stupid. You're an idiot. We're talking about our lives. We are trapped here. We can't leave this place. And you're busy talking about James stealing Toby from you. I can just slap you right now. Are you an idiot? Don't you listen? Don't you have sense? No. Let me stop us here.
What? What is it? Are you okay? Of course I'm okay. No, baby. You don't look okay. You're not. What is it? How? How would you expect me to be okay? In this kind of environment? How do you expect me to be fine? How do you expect me to be happy? How can I be here and be happy? No. No. I am not okay. okay. I am not okay. It's okay. I'm not okay. What's going on? It's What's going on? Just over there. This way? Yes. yes. Where is John? I thought he went out with you. Oh my god. Oh my Wait, god. where are you going to? Come, come. 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 come with me. 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 Shot. Aim and shoot. John, if I were you, trust me, I'll pull the trigger straight 
into his head. That must be the reason you are not I just took my rock. You know what I said to now? I didn't got water to survive. Very close. You don't cheat. They're not to try. Very much. So, how was it not on? Huh? 
Voilà, c'est bon. Pas de problème, c'est bon. Donc, John, tu es un excellent marksman. Why did you learn that from? I mean, they're shooting and I was surprised. It's all luck. Jokes. <laughs> all luck. Come on, spare me that. Spare me that. He's just been modest. <laughs> Correct guy. <laughs> Look happy king. Anyway, I'm happy we made it. We made it! We made it! We made it! Yes! We made it! Oh god. Oh. I feel for good. Christy, Christy. Oh. Agent Francis. Oh, sir. I have a feeling that these guys are not just after the ransom. How? Huh? There is something bigger than what? The ransom is just a base for them in achieving the next target of the world. So I think we need to be a fast one of them. Okay, so how do we go about that? Let's await their calling again. When they call, you play with them. Then track their location. By the time we get their location, we attack. You have a very good point with what you just said, but you must know that those guys doing this kidnapping job are also intelligent. So, it's going to be very risky. Yeah. It's going to be very risky in the sense that they might discover that we are trying to play fast game on them. They will decide to kill all of them. So, what do you think will happen? Giving them the money is also risky. I have vast experience in life. So what I think we need to do is play with them while they call and we track them. The life of my students are worth taking the risk. Uh, director, <laughs> tracking them is going to be very risky. What you are saying is going to be very risky. The life of those your students are important. That's why we need to track them. Uh, well, in that case, we have to keep this secret secret. Make sure none of your staff is aware of what is going on. Yeah. Just do that for me. It's okay. Come and sit down. Let's talk about what happened earlier. What happened? Back there at the shooting practice, you hesitated. What were you thinking? Oh, come on, John. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Listen. 
I've been in this game, you know, this is what I do. I know this game like the back of my palm. I know what you were thinking. You were thinking of killing me. What? Yes. That was a thought that crossed your mind when you had the gun. But what you didn't know was that I gave you an empty gun. Do you know what would have happened if you had pointed that gun at me and tried to kill me? Do you? You would have been dead. I would have shot you right there, that moment. But somehow you hesitated. I didn't know what made you hesitate. I didn't know. Maybe fear, I suppose. Or whatever it was, it saved your life. Because, John, you were this close. Now there's a problem. You know what it is? Your men. I know somehow they are not comfortable staying here. It's not like I expect them to be comfortable anyway. But then, they are beginning to nurse this idea of escaping. And it is. It is a dangerous one. Until I get my money. You guys either stay here or you're all dead. So, I would suggest you tell them to dismiss that thought from their hearts. I don't want casualties. I don't want anybody dying. Do you know how I want you to stop that? You are the leader of your team, aren't you? Yes. And I'm sure they listen to you. Sure. I want you to keep them in line, just as I have kept my boys in line. Do you think my guys are not bloodthirsty? Do you think they don't want to get irrational? Do you think they don't want to kill you guys or torture you guys to death? Of course they want to, but I have kept them in line. I have kept them in check. Discipline is the watchword, and I want you to do the same with your guys. Else, you know exactly what will happen, John. Do we agree? Good. Don't worry. I know it's difficult, but I have something that will help you make it easy. Really? Yes. Something good. That's okay. All right. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Hey, what's going on? John? What's the problem? Why are you not drinking? I don't take anything hard. <laughs> oh, come on, John. How can you tell me you don't take alcohol? Even your girlfriend does. What? Who is my girlfriend? Hey, come on. Everybody knows who your girlfriend is. Lucy, of course. Lucy is not my girlfriend. If for anything, she hates me so much. 
Lucy hates me so much. Mm. Well, I believe you. But whatever, man. You gotta drink something. Alright? Look, when this whole thing is over, you can go back to your normal life. Your reserved personality, kind of. Hmm? But as long as you're here, you do as I do. So, maybe you start with my hair. Go ahead and drink. <coughs> easy, easy. What do I have? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Bye. Get me the drink. Okay, sir. <coughs> Take it easy. <coughs> Don't choke yourself. Go and get a glass. Okay, sir. Hurry up. Yeah. Please, I, I want to ask you something. I've been meaning to ask you this. Yeah? How did you know I am the leader of my team? Oh, come on. It's very simple. <laughs> My instinct, first of all, and secondly, I saw the charisma that you got. It was very obvious. You have the leadership quality, you know, so it wasn't difficult knowing that you are the leader of your team. It's okay. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Um, director. We we have successfully discovered the location where they are kept. Wow. Yes, like I told you, this is my job. The only job that is giving us joy. The only job that is putting food on my table. You see, first thing tomorrow morning, myself and my men, we are going there to, to rescue them. We are going there to rescue them and we are bringing them home successfully. Wow, that's a good one. Yes. Immediately we get there, we will strike. But the only prayer is that they should not change their location before we get there. Oh, they won't, they won't, they won't. Yes. One important thing. My students must come back alive. That is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. They so, must come back alive. See, so, uh, so, um, not that I don't support the movement, do your thing, do your job, but please, I don't want anything to happen to them. Please. For sure. Because they are apparently on my neck. Just count on me. Please. If not, I would have said, okay, let my director here pay the ransom, but it's okay. Just do your job, but treat softly, please. I'll do just that. All right. But one, one more thing. One more thing is that we have to keep it secret, secret. Please. Okay. Please. It's okay. What in God's name are we doing? What are we doing? Didn't you sleep? Did you? How do you expect me to sleep? After the whole fun you guys have. You all were tipsy. Someone has got to watch your back, right? Right. Right. But you are not sticking to plan. You are supposed to distract them and appear. You remember? For how long? For how long? All we need to do is to pipe low. Plan together, work together. Move the train together. Okay? Distract this man before you know it. We strike them. See, John. Once I have the chance, trust me, I'm leaving this place. I'm running out from this place. 
I'm tired. Are you not? Running to where? If you run away from this place, they will kill you. This man knows the nooks and cranny of this place. They are the only men existing in this bush. If you run into the bush, you will be there for the next six months. No way out for you. Chicks, grow old and reason well. I will still do it anyway. I can't just be here pretending to be alright. Waiting and digging patiently for my own grave to die. I can't pretend anymore. You do it on your own. You do it on your own. Now I see you have no conscience. You don't think of what will happen to the rest of us here, right? I know. You don't need to be scared, John. <coughs> Once I get to the nearest town, I will get the police and come and get you guys out from this place. That's the perfect plan. Sometimes you reason like a little baby. And I'm a chore. If you escape from this place, before you come back, they will kill all of us. They will also vacate here. You reason from your enus. You a fool. You are right, but let's escape together. Sometimes I wonder if you guys are enjoying this place. You always busy having fun. Look at Pampa's ball. Everybody. I mean, I'm so surprised. Let's escape together then. And we will escape together. It's a matter of time. Listen, I am the leader here. I will lead us home. Trust me. Trust me. It is a matter of time. We will all go. Okay? Let's plan well. Yeah, do you right? What I will do. Ah! Michael! Are you okay? Imagine you. Oh. Are you dreaming? This guy tampered with my breast. All right. Job. Yeah, we're making progress. We're making a lot of progress. You know? But then, there are some crazy people out there. Freaking crazy gold diggers. Trying to claim responsibility for your kidnap. What? Yeah. Why would they do that? To claim the ransom. Yes. Oh, that's very smart of you. We're just five days here and you already know this business. Smart. What next? Well, the school authorities got something that is very important to us. So what we intend to do to get it back is first of all send a proof of life to them. We're going to send them a message, send them proof that you guys are still alive and healthy and that you are with us, not with those gold diggers. Black is already getting ready for you guys, so soon. To be on. Something very important to you. What could that be? What could that be? Too many questions can kill you, John. Sit down, sit down. Sit, sit. <laughs> I don't have to go. Please, please, please. 
Whatever it is, we don't have that kind of car. We don't. Too many questions can kill you. So you look, you ask asking silly questions. Two points of correction can kill us. You, you. Jukes. Stop. Stop. All right, guys. It's time to take a shot. It's time to tell the world that you guys are still alive. Okay? No. It's going to be dark. We'll do it outside here. It's more beautiful. All right, come on. Stand up and take a pose. That's the background. Black, are you ready? Do your thing, man. Take your positions. All right, let go. Hey, come on. I don't want you guys wearing these long faces, okay? You need to put a smile on your face. Let them know that we're taking good care of you. All right? Because you don't know where these pictures might be going to. Could be in the newspapers, in the TV. I'm sure you don't want them to see your face looking odd on TV. So, give me some smile, man. Alright? Black, do it. Let go. Alright, guys. Take many shots, as much shots as you can. Let's go. Uh, let go. I think uh, Wolf is right. This picture will be posted on national TV. I don't want to look scruffy. No. I'm looking tight. Do you have any problem with that? Martins. Yep. Please help me with your glasses. Why? What for? I want to oppose with it. What? Are you sure? Uh, yes, I want to look tight. Right, let go, let go, let go. Thank you. What is the problem? Do you, do you not wear glasses? Do you wear glasses? Does that look like home? Look around. We're in the middle of nowhere. I have every right to do what I'm doing now. Hey. I want to pose. Hello, Mr. Vice Chancellor. I am calling to inform you that your ransom of 200 million will no longer be needed. But I give you my condition, which is vacate that land. You use your political mind to oppress, to suppress, you intimidated and killed my parents. You keep my uncle, you keep my aunt and the part of my community because of what belonged to them. The only thing they cherished, which was their land, you forcefully took it away from them. Mr. Vice Chancellor, I am the son of one of those you killed. And I want to know that I am also responsible for the abduction of your students. You have 48 hours to vacate that land. Where you fail to, let me inform you. I will send a message across to you, which is, I will send the body parts of your students in bits to you. And until when I'm done, I will come after you. I will bring you down, Mr. Vice Chancellor. I will bring you down. 
unless and only if you forget that. It can never happen. I will never tolerate that. What nonsense. What the school will never relocate. And my student must come back. The school will never relocate. And, my, and that's fine. My student must come back. I will never tolerate that. Rubbish. Rubbish. What nonsense is that? I will never do that. Oh. Super bitch. Hi, honey. Yes, I love you, sir. 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 I love you, I will never do that. I will never give in to that shit. Yes, ma'am. I will never do that. Why would they want you to do that? Stupid people. Stupid people. I will never do that. Honey, please. You just need to calm down. You're taking it so much, you You have to calm down. Please. Hmm? I just see these things as, as in temptation. They are all temptation. You just have to just take things easy. Please. Hmm? Please. All you re need to do right now is just to take your bath and eat. This is not time to eat. This is not time to eat. Oh, honey, please. Your man is going to do what? You need to eat something because this, for your health. I'm disturbed. This for your time. health's sake. This, this is, small boy is going to have done so much. Me. Jesus Christ. Please, children, you need to beg daddy. Daddy needs to eat something. Please. Daddy, come you need to eat something, please. Oh. Just come and take a bed and eat something. I'm oh. taking care of oh. There is something I saw back there. It looks like a mask or something. I didn't understand. Like this. Yes. Are you serious? Are we going home? Wow! Wait, 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 wait. Have the school paid the ransom? But there is a problem. What's the problem? They request that the school vacate the premises. Vacate? Yes. They don't want the school to be there anymore. But why? I don't know. Same thing, same question. I keep asking myself. I keep wondering. Why would you want the school to vacate the premises? Because it's going to affect the students. It's going to affect us. Everybody. Academically, mentally, and otherwise. How are we going to start moving from one place to another? God. But what if the school refuses to vacate the premises? That's the question. Does that mean we're going to rot here? No. No. We're not going to rot here. Nobody will die. We will not die. Nothing will happen to any of us. John has a plan. Very fun dog. No man. Kill him. 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 Are you happy like this? That somebody has stopped their glory. Enjoy your glory. You are carrying on. In a way, way. Your mother is looking for you in the village. Your mother is looking for you in the village. Stand up! Where do you want to Stand up! Which direction? Stand up! 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 Stand Sorry. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. i
You want me to kill you? No. Oh? No. You want me to fucking kill you? No, no. I treat you nice. I treat you with some respect. I give you my food and my drink. And this is how you repay me? This is how you pay me? How dare you? We had an agreement, John. We had an agreement. You should have honored your own part of the agreement. But now you leave me no choice. You leave me no choice for what my boys are going to do to all of you. What did they do? You want to know? No. Get up. Get up. You want to know what he did? Do you want to know what he did? No. Come here. No, no sir, sir. Want to know what he did? No, sir. No. He betrayed me. That's what he did. He freaking betrayed me. Give me the camera. Look at it. Look at the glasses he's wearing. Did you see that? He was trying to disclose our location through the glasses. You think you're smart, right? That was very smart of you. You try to play smart with me? Huh? Oh, you think you can save every one of them? No. You think you can save them, right? No, no. no. Thank your stars. Thank your stars that we discovered this before taking it to the publishers. Else I would have killed every one of you. You would have all been dead if this was published the way it is. Get up. Hey, what's up? If this happens again, if you dare try to play smart again with me, you will not have a second chance. Sorry. Take the money! Hey, this guy gets like this. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, Is this place pain? Yeah, it's me it's all over my body. They hit him so hard. Yes, they hit. The picture. 
Was it not the plan? Sure. I. Oh. What are we we'll going see. to do now? We we'll still go home. Yes. How are you feeling? Guys, I'm feeling great. Where were we? Um, we were at the part where you tried to rescue us. Oh, oh. I, 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 I. John, I think I have an issue with your plan. Let's hear it. Your plan needs some other person to come in before it could work. You know, a plan that only depends on a single hand, I don't think it's a good plan. I see your point. Yes. But you know, it was just a window of opportunity. Pressing at a time. I so I grabbed it. it was what a try anyway. Any suggestion? Yes. As a matter of fact, I see no reason why we are waiting for them to come and rescue us. We, why can't we just rescue ourselves from this place? Let's swing into action. Well, that's too risky. Wolf has accepted to let us go once the ransom is being paid. So let's just wait for the ransom to be paid and stop making more troubles for ourselves. Exactly. Honestly, I don't think that these guys will let us go. With the way they picked up John. It was John who tried to give him away. Can you hear from passport? Can you hear from Michael! Why are you always negative? What is wrong with you? Oh, it's okay, please. Enough of all this. I am tired. Can't you see? I don't even have strength to start shouting. Um, Chooks, what's the plan, please? What's the plan? What are you, what are you doing? Why are you standing here? You don't sneak up at me like that. I'm sorry about that. I heard what you said the other night. Did you? I, yes, I did. And I don't know why you're not saying anything to anyone. You have to talk to the others. They have the right to decide on what to do, on what they want. Just talk to us, please. What about you, Lucy? What do you want to do? I can't really say for now. I can't really say. But Chooks thinks we can we can at least run. Yes, run for our lives. Run? Yes, run. You really want to take such a risk? Listen, Lucy. If we are caught, we will get killed. I'm not ready to take such a risk now. Except it comes down to it. Okay? And you think, you think it hasn't gotten to that? Look, the ransom will soon be paid. And then what? What next? Lucy, I have experienced 
what situation that is. All I want you to do is to build your trust in me. Have faith in me, and I will take you home. I should have faith in you. You? Yes. Have faith in me, I will take you. Just do that. Okay. But there's no problem. I have faith in you, and, and I know you can take us home. I, I believe you. I believe you. No matter how long it's going to take us, we can make sure we all get back to our various destinations. there to check if the coast is clear. Okay? Please I'll be, be careful. I'll be right back. And always watch your back. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. okay. Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Don't blast the head! I will drop. 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 Pass. Drop. You want to run? No, can never. You want to run? If you want to, if you. For me, I can't run away. I can't run away. No, Joy, you want to run? Yeah? Huh? I escape. I cannot escape. I escape. I cannot escape. Who be you, be me? Stay down. Who be you, be me now? John? My brother. So this is how we play. You have chosen to betray me. You have chosen to bite the finger of Peggy. Get it. Who be you, be me? Come on. You think you're smart, right? No, you think you are smart. Sorry. You think you can escape from this place? I can't escape. 
Now listen up, all of you, wherever you are. I know you can hear the sound of my voice. I have your friend here, John. A gun is pointed at him. I will count to five. And I want you all to come out with your hands on your head. At the count of five, if you don't come out, I will kill him. And I'm going to hunt all of you down. I will hunt you down and kill you. Every single one of you. Just the same way I killed the grass cutters that I fed you with. I will hunt you all down and kill you the same way. <laughs> We cannot escape. One! Two! Three! Please, we have to go. We have to go to save him. They will kill him. Four! Hey. Hey. Yes, sir! Come on, 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 and I just need one answer. Do you know where you are? No, no, sir. I said, do you know where you are? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. So why the fuck do you think you can escape? No, no, no. Sorry, sir. How no, can sir. you escape from a jungle where you don't know the routes? No, it is the devil, no. ah! the devil. It is the what? The devil. Do that. You guys were my friends, but now you are all my enemies. Jesus, Take them all inside. Take them. I thought. I thought I was moving. Move on, move on! Come on! You should have just gone. You should have. I'll leave you behind. Does it matter? Does it? At least some of you would have made it alive. That's so stupid of you guys. Coming back for me. So stupid. You shouldn't have bothered coming back for me. Thank you for coming back. But honestly, he should have gone. Jules, what really happened? This idiot, this Pampas boy, betrayed us. Pampas boy, you betrayed us? Michael, you son of a bitch! I hate you! I hate you! Why did you betray your friends? Why? Uh. He was trying to secure a place in Wolf's team. Secure a place? You mean like joining them? Yes. God forbid! I can never join those animals. <laughs> I told you guys, he's interested in joining them. He wants to join them. He's good for nothing, but I, 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 I wish I had my way, I would join. Interesting. Wonderful story. That's it. <laughs> 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 
But you people feel that you can escape. And you can run to nowhere. No, you can not run. Hmm? Why don't you kill me and stop being a coward? Shut up. Why not kill me? Kill me! You have to go. No, you want to run. You want to run to me. Take your away, guy. No. What's wrong? No. No. What's wrong, guy? What's wrong, guy? No, you don't want to run. Like, to run. Eh? You what's wrong, eh? Emilio. My director. Ah, uh, prof. Big problem. Big problem. These kidnappers, they've made their interest open. They're not demanding only the ransom. They want us to relocate the school. What? Relocate my school? That would never be possible. I can never relocate the school. The school I built with my own money, my hard paid money. That's not possible. One thing is sure. My students must come back alive. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've not heard from the officers. So how do we do the magic? How? Somebody to sleep again. Somebody sleep again. Oh God. What is it? Jen just said she's hungry. And so? We are all yeah. hungry. Mm -hmm. I, I even thought it was Pampa's boy that, that was complaining. Yeah. Yes. Don't worry. By tomorrow morning, I will raise him with wolf to give us a look. Okay. What if he refused? He said he wouldn't give us any.
Honey. Yeah, baby. You don't be sleeping. Huh? A man cannot sleep when his house is on the fire. This kidnappers has given me a blow I can hardly resist. Honey. Please. You need to sleep. You will huh? understand me. You need to sleep before you fall sick. Seven of my best engineering students kidnapped. And their prayers on my neck. Oh, I can't sleep. Jesus Christ. And my mind tells me, even if I give them the 200 million naira ransom they demand, they will still ask for something more. I know, honey, but one thing I want you to know is that no matter how worried you get, no matter how you take things so hard on yourself, you will just end up getting yourself break down. And I don't want anything to happen to you, just for your health. You just you need to have some sleep. Just calm down, I'll sleep. Calm down. I believe God. The God we serve will take care of this situation. Oh, I don't need. I don't want you to get sick for us. I want that one. Huh? Okay, come okay, your children. Come down, I'll sleep. Please, please, please. You need to sleep. You want me to feed you? Yes. Why should I do that? Because my teammates and I are very hungry. Oh, really? So you want me to feed you guys fat, to be strong, so that you can escape. Right? All is fair in war. And starvation is one of the weapons of war. Why should we feed our enemies fat to fight back? Who said that? Awolo, in 1969. Look, brother. We are not at all. Please. You think so? The strategy of starvation works here because this is not a palace look around you does it look like a palace to you does it look like Asso Rock or the White House this is war and if starvation is a weapon to help me keep you guys contained that's exactly what I'll do to starve you guys Get out of my sight. John, how did it go? Negative. Why not positive? Go and tell him. You didn't tell him we were hungry? Hey, well, go and tell him. Hey, John. Ah? Come, all of you, come. Said we should come. Hey, John, come. All right, now, I don't want you guys to see me as a wicked person. I don't want you to think that I'm wicked. You are actually wicked. There is food for you. But you guys are going to contend for it. There's a plate of food and you will contest for it. What, 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 do you, what do you mean by that? What I mean is that the food is the prize. And you guys will fight for it. No rules. Whoever wins, eats the food. 
That's what I mean. And you all go inside and get yourselves ready for the contest. Come on, This is madness! You think so? This is not madness, John. It is what you do to survive. It is what you do to get what you want. The rules are very simple. The rules are simply no rules. There are no rules to this game, John. Once you start fighting, you don't stop until you are asked to stop. For you to win, you have to draw blood. <coughs> draw blood? Yes, draw blood. I can't draw blood. I can't draw blood just for a plate of food. That's savagery. That's savagery. Never be too sure, John, because people have done even worse. People have killed for something less than food. Even Black here can attest to that. Black has stabbed a guy in the eye for just looking at his girlfriend. Can you believe that? Can imagine. So you see, nothing goes for nothing. It is called survival of the fetus. You, you, you know we can't fight. We can't fight for food. We can't fight each other for food. It can never happen. Don't be too sure, John. Don't be too sure. Come on, let's look at the natural scenario. Let's look at it naturally. In life, there are obstacles. Life presents a lot of obstacles to you. Anytime you want something, there is an obstacle. For example, you want to go to school, you want to enter the university, you write a jam. And the damn jam people may not even give you a pass. That's an obstacle, John. You want a girlfriend, she makes you go through hell before you get her. Or even sleep with her. That's an obstacle. So tell me, what is life trying to teach you? Is life trying to stop you from getting what you want? The hell no. Life is only trying to test you, to test your will for what you want. Life wants to know if you really want what you want. And when you finally get what you want, you will appreciate it. That is life for you. Now, John. That's Chooks standing between you and what you want. And you are standing between him and what he wants. So come on, John. Take him out. Take him out and have what you want. Can you listen to yourself? I can't fight him for food. He is my friend. Chooks, John says you're his friend. Come on. Don't be sentimental, John. 
Don't be sentimental. I want you to understand that sentiment cannot get you out of this place alive. Alright? But a fully paid ransom can, right? Perhaps it can. Maybe. Maybe not. But the freaking school authority has refused to pay. They have refused to give us what we want. But until they do, you guys are our mercy. You do what we say. And how we say it and how we want it. So come on, jokes. He is standing between you and what you want. Fight him and take it. Can you fight me for a plate of food? Just for food. Have the spirit of Christ. Have the spirit of Christ. Don't, don't shoot him. Let him run. See a rabbit running? A hopeless rabbit running hopelessly to nowhere and once he hears the hunters gone <laughs> falls to the ground wakes up checks himself and nothing happens continues to run Take care of him. Lie down! I said lie down! Who do you believe? Come on, go! 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 you try to run we will find you we don't leave dead bodies here we throw them into the bush please give me a chance to bury him I beg you please Alright, you dig his grave and bury him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can't believe I'm still doing you guys this favor.
Have any right? No one, no one will die again. No one will die again. No one will die again. My girl, my girl, my girl. Can't we just be a little something? Can't we? Wisdom. I don't want to die. John, what are you doing here? I'm here to pay my last respect to the fallen hero. You are here to pay the last respect to the fallen hero. Eh? Anyway, thank you for making the action begin. I hope he will make way for you guys that will be joining him soon. John, I have been thinking John, you made a cross for your friend. You buried him. That's nice. But I hope... I hope someone will do the same thing for you. When I kill you. Your graveyard will be in the vulture's bed. God forbid. I will not die. God forbid. You will not die. So then, John, you don't have respect, John. <laughs> what are we oh. going to do now? We we'll pin the flower on the grave <laughs> to make him rest in peace. <laughs> Why did you do this? <laughs> Michael, why? Why, Michael? Michael, why? Why did you do this to us, Michael? It's okay, come up. Michael! It's okay, it's okay. John, no! Okay. No, no, it's not Michael! Okay. It's okay. Michael is here. John! We came together! We came together, John! <laughs> we came together! Lucy. Michael! Michael! Lucy. Michael, why? Come up. Why, Michael? <laughs> Who are those people? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I believe they are the occupant of the forest. Sir, those people are very dangerous. Seriously? Wallahi, well, they are very dangerous, sir. They are very dangerous. Sir, I think we should leave right now. This place is not safe for us. It is high time we leave this place. Let's leave here now! Now! Which way, sir? This way, this way, this way! This way!
Mom, I'm hungry. <laughs> My stomach is biting me. <laughs> Turn around like this. Lie down with your stomach. What difference will it make? It does. At least it will help you for now. <laughs> John, it seems you're used to hunger. The way you console us on this one, Grofi team. I have had my share. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> I have taken more than my share. Like, like you. You were, you were poor. Not, not that I was kind of poor. Then what happened? I am poor, homeless, no family. I'm so sorry. Hunger is not fatal. That I learned I'm early in life. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Turn around, lie down with your stomach. Put it to the ground. Okay. What Jesus is doing? What that proof? That is what Jesus is doing. John! This guy is eating up the lilon in this place. How many has he eaten? I have not heard or seen where hunger killed. A man. Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. Yet, he was filled with the Holy Spirit. He was filled with strength till the day he came down from the mountain. Before he ate. Listen. Let's follow the footsteps of Christ. That is all I have to tell us. Little thing, we get distracted. Little thing, we get distracted. Listen, food is not the ultimate. Food can never be the ultimate. We have to have the strength of the mind, believing that we will live here one day. Okay? What is important in all this you've said now? Are we Jesus Christ? We are hungry. What is important in what I'm saying here is this. We'll go home with our righteous mind. But we can't make it home with this hunger. Ability of the mind, Jane. Having ability of the mind. Having the strength of the mind, not the physical. Note this. Will go home by his grace. So, what if they ask you to fight again for food? What will you do? Lucy, am I dog that I fight for food? I can never. At this point, we are all dogs. Yes. We are dogs. See, everything you guys are saying here is just entering my left ear and it's going out from the right. You know what? Where is Pampa's boy today? Sorry, I mean, Mike. He's nowhere to be found today just because she tried act acting brave like a lion. Why is he? But one thing I know for sure, one thing is that a living dog is better than a dead lion. Yes. You are just giving me proverb and it's got nothing to do with what I'm saying. Shut your mouth. The madness don't come. Sir. Where do you go? Why did you ask that madness don't come? The mad, you know where you're Eh? I didn't have a papa. Oh, I want to call you to make it. So you're mad. No, 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 no,
my brother that was how it happened so you see I need you to do one thing for me because the land the oil the food everything belongs to me it's my father's land so I need to get it back so I need you I need you to do this for me please Help me achieve my goals. Please. I'm begging. No about me. Please. Mr. Ikeda. Yeah. My wall is my bond. Okay. I don't go back on my wall. Mm. My wall is my bond. Okay. It's a mission accomplished. Mm. I'll make him pay for it. Mm. And you will take back what rightfully belongs to you. 
I hate to kill. I hate violence. But they leave me no choice. I have to do what I have to do to get what I want. You said they took something to Yes. They took what belongs to me. They took my land. They took my oil. The land that your school is in belongs to my father. They took everything. And even the people they killed to take the land that belongs to me. You don't have to be confused, John. You don't have to. I thought the school authority likes you. But what I have come to realize is that the school authority hates you. They want you all dead. They want you all dead. That's why they don't want to pay the ransom. The very land that your school is situated on belongs to my family. But they took it away. And until they vacate that place, until they leave the properties there, I will kill every one of you and go after them to get back what belongs to me. That land is my father's land. It belongs to us. Did you say innocent? I'm sorry. No one is innocent. Because war does not recognize it. Move it! Move it! No, I don't want to shout. What do you mean? Move! I don't want to shout. John, why did you refuse to, to fight Jokes? You fight? For what? What fighting for? I can't fight him. I'll just bring him close to me and squeeze life out of that idiot. <laughs> 
that amalgamated social minister. Ah, John, I okay. kill him. <laughs> it's okay, I understand. Jokes are that. Jokes, you did not cry at all. Why would you do anything like that? Because you were punching your friend, your own friend, simply because of food. Why? Are we not also hungry? Look at where we're coming from. Look at where we are. We're supposed to be watching each other's back. I didn't expect that from you. Not at all. I didn't. Won't you say something? You did not try at all. Don't try it next time. I don't like it. No, it's It's not fair. Don't do anything like that. Because I knew you were just punching me. Hey, because of food. Aye. Because it hurt. So, yeah. Don't touch me like that. I'm sorry. No. Say something John, now. I'm very sorry. If only you know what it means to, to be feeding on water for, for the past three days. Three days? See, let me tell us. What food do to man is to make a man look small and the person said we just big. <laughs> now choose what food we do to you is to make you small and your head will be big you will not die you will not die have you said that food kills somebody he has apologized don't try it next time sir i'm very very tired i don't think i'll continue this journey i'm very very tired i'm thirsty I know, I know. We, we all are very tired. Okay, but we, we have to rest here for some time before we continue. Okay? Sir, how are we sure that this place is safe for us? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wallah, well, this place is not safe. It's not safe for us, so Wallah, well, this place is not safe. But you don't have to be worried. That is the more reason we have to be more alert. We have to be alert. <laughs> I will give God my lifetime. If I give God my lifetime, He will take care of me. He will never, never let me die. Oh, I will give God my life. It is very obvious that your school authority does not like you. They don't care about any of you. You are just a waste to them. And for that reason, you are equally a waste to me. They have refused to pay the ransom. They have refused to vacate my father's land! They think I'm bluffing. But I'll send them a message to let them know that we mean business. You, get up, stand up. Hey, 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 Go down. I will kill her and send her body to them so they know we are damn serious. No, 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 please, 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 don't kill her. Please, spare her life. Spare her life, please. I beg you. Please. God will bless you. Shut up! God will bless you.
Say that. Okay? See, anything is possible. That is the beauty of life. As long as we are living, there is still hope for us. I want you to calm down. Relax yourself. Whatever you see here, take it in a good faith. Take it in a good faith, please. There is hope for us. Please, whatever you see, you take it in a good faith. What's the meaning of this nonsense? What's the meaning of all this? I'm tired. I know you're tired. Please. What is their problem? I thought they've agreed to pay the money. They asked them to pay. So why do they want the school to vacate the premises? This is so unfair. This is injustice. Look at how they're treating us as if we're animals. What did you do to them? What? Just look at my face. Look at me. Lucy, Lucy, who is this school here and now you are, you are talking about school? Who is this school? I'm told up about it. Calm down. Calm down. Don't shout. I don't want them to hear your, 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 your knives. No, let them hear. These are ugly monsters. They can kill. They can take lives. Yes. Did you manage for your grandson? And the school authority has agreed to pay. No! They want the school to protect from the police. <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> Why? Listen. These men you see are there. They are ugly monsters. That is what I define them to be. When you talk, you bring your voice low. It is only God that will know how we are going to escape from this place. Are you getting me? Please, please. Men you see are there are all carnivorous animals. They feed on flesh. They, 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 they. One of them is coming. One of them is coming. Just, just grab this one and kill him inside this place. Nobody will hear, hear him shout. Idiot. I don't know if this one is you, you know. You, 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 you want to quench your test? Yes. Please, please. You don't finish it, you help others. You, you, you care for water? You quench your test. Lucy? Lucy? You are better for this juice. No. Lucy? No. Lucy? I know how you feel. But forget it. Take water. Sorry. I. Sorry. I sorry. Take it easy. I'm taking it easy now. I just want the pains to reduce. Be romantic. Uh -uh. You have started again. Am I not trying? You are. Or put more effort. It's just that I want the pains to reduce now. Mm -hmm. John. Mm. Please. I want to ask you something. Okay. Why is it that? Why is it that you always call me love? What? Love in the bush. I mean, anytime you want to talk to me, you always say love. Why? Is there any problem me calling you love? No. I don't have any problem with love. I just need an answer. Just answer me, please. I'm sorry. Okay, listen to me. You mean apart from the fact you are sweet and lovely? 
Is that what you mean? <laughs> You've started again. Yes. Yes. Do me. Where? Yeah. Yes, can you? You've not answered my question. Uh, okay. Just touch your answer. Where? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I... Mm -hmm. I've touched it. So answer me. Lucy, mm -hmm. to be honest with you, mm -hmm. I love you so much. No, Jules, why did you become a, a musician? Uh, Jules, why have you started playing guitar? <laughs> I don't really know what happened. I was only six. We were singing as we always do. My dad was driving my mom by his side at the back of the seat. It happened. I found myself in hospital. It turned out I was unharmed. My aunt, my aunt, the only surviving relative I have came for me. Right from that moment, my nightmare began. Following his mother's lead, he picked up on me whenever he wanted. I never wanted to retaliate. He became fearsome to me as his mother. One day we were cooking in the kitchen. He picked up a, a split of fire trying to burn my hair. I turned immediately, grabbed his hand, filled it to the fire. He screamed. I held his hand to the fire. Someone ran into the kitchen to rescue him from my hand. My aunt stood, thinking of what to do to me, what she had never done to me before. Why did you use fire to burn his hand, John? Eh? What is wrong with you? I will make sure I do with you today. I was afraid. I thought I was going to die that night. Two days later, being afraid not because of my life, but what I am turning to become. Ah, I have never seen a child that hurt another the way I hurt my cousin. I left the house. If I continue living in that house, they will turn me a beast. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Come out here. Stupid. Come out here. 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 Come out
Big boy. No, nonsense boy. Eh? What is, what is wrong with you? You idiot. Stupid boy. Nonsense boy. Look at this idiot boy. He's not even crying. Come on, cry. He must cry my first. Cry. Cry. He cry. I said cry. Eh? What is wrong with you? You've not started crying, bro. But then, after today, you've not started crying. I said, you cry. Close your mouth. Close your mouth. Life as a homeless boy in the street is <laughs> like a paradise compared to where I'm coming from. In the street, I met the good, the bad, and the ugly. They showed me love. They all showed me love. I promised myself I will never go back to that house again. My love, I kept to my promise to date. John. How did you get here as an undergraduate? Sandra, it is a long story. We'll keep the rest for tomorrow. I know you will not understand. Each time I wonder what I did to that woman. She always tell me terrible things. That she warned my dad not to marry my mom. This woman had a son out of wedlock by name Chima. Sometimes I feel I perceive the scent of his smell. I feel I perceive the scent of his flesh, even right now. It's not intentional. It is never intentional. Sorry. I never knew that you are an orphan. I guess I didn't know you at all. What about you? What about me? Yes. Don't you have a story? No. No. Lucy, everyone has a story. This may sound well. But there is look I see on your face. It looks familiar to me. I have seen this look in hundred faces in the street. Lucy was bugging you. He's my mother. My mother. What 
Your mother? Yes. What about her? She's dead. Oh. She died. She died two years ago. And ever since then, my life has not remained the same. It became worse when my dad got married to another last year. You have a stepmother? Unfortunately, I do. What's unfortunate about it? She's a gold digger. She's a pretender. She's just trying to win my dad over. Is she hard on you? Yes. She's pretending just to win my dad over. Win your dad over? Is she not married to your dad? She is. She's married to my dad. What am I even saying? Don't mind me, please. She loves me so much. She loves I and my kid brother so much. And I know where she is now. She will be fasting and praying for me. Fasting and praying for me to come back. It's just that. It's okay. I miss my mother. It's okay. I miss my mother so much. It's okay. It's okay. I'm here for you. It's okay. All right? Okay. Okay. Now, come, come, come. Listen, stop singing like barons. These men are not for you. Okay? Bring down your voice. What do we do? You must, you must start nice to move out from this place. Let's go. Let's go.
Afro TV, enjoy various genres of entertainment programming from the comfort of your home through our satellite delivered channels in your favorite languages French, English, Swahili, Sri, Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, and so on. Afro Dubbing Services. With the largest number of dubbing studios in Africa, we can help you dub your videos to major languages in Africa Swahili, English, French, Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo. Wolof, Zulu, and so on. Afarevo YouTube, the largest YouTube partner in Africa, with over 500 channels of top African entertainment and millions of eyeballs daily, we help thousands of video creators make money on YouTube. Afarevo, the revolution is on. <laughs> 